Until it's over, I'm in the running, so call me to come back. Yeah, you yeah. don't play a I know that I've been around with fire, but yeah, I'm that lit. I'm that lit. I got that heart in the grid, I've been grinding, I will not relent. I will not relent. This is another continuation of the little series that I'm doing at the moment about getting all the best gear I can together for my big trip into Switzerland, where I'm just gonna try and bang out some content and just enjoy life for a little bit, you know what I mean? Because it's been a while since I've been able to get out there. Anyway, today I'm talking about audio, I'm talking about microphones. Now, I'm not taking this microphone with me specifically, but one thing I will say, and you guys will notice already, on this YouTube channel, voiceovers in particular have been a big part of this channel. I can't even recall how many videos I've made where I've needed a microphone like this one to do voiceovers on top. Now, my background has been a bit in the music industry kind of thing, so I. There's a certain tone or a certain um, quality of audio that I prefer when it comes to my particular voice. And my voice is a little bit, got a little bit more on, on the low end. So I need a microphone that's going to capture that nicely, right? So today I want to talk about this microphone here, which has been my number one voiceover microphone so far this year because it's just so so good it's perfect i used to have an se this is made by a company called se electronics by the way they're an australian company uh for years and years and years i used to use one of their uh larger condenser microphones i bought it nearly 10 years ago that's how reliable this thing has been but it decided to die on me recently and i put a post out there and se electronics sent me out this one which just blew my mind right because when that other one died I was using all the other microphones I could. So I was testing out everything. I was testing out this microphone here, which is my my second in command or my second choice, which is a, a microphone by CAD. Um, I was checking out some USB microphones, some microphones from Persona, some Shure microphones, everything to try and see what worked best on my voice. Uh, if you guys wanna see that video, by the way, if you want me to make a video where I compare every single mic I've got in my locker to see what sounds best for my voice or how to, find the best microphone for your voice in particular, then let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video about that. But long story short, through blind testing myself or blind listening myself, this microphone came on top every single time. And it just so happens to be um, falling in the great price category as well. It's like 250 pounds for this microphone or 230 pounds as I'm making this video, but it has so much professional features. Like the second microphone, my second choice microphone is the CAD microphone, but that mic has no switches on it whatsoever for recording extra things about that. So <laughs> you guys will know if you record on microphones, then you'll know all the switches and buttons that they do certain things. So for instance, let me run through some of these. We've got a pad switch on the left. So that's going to uh, do a minus 10 decibels. So if we're recording something very loud, not say vocals so much, but say a drum kit or a celloist or something like that. If you was recording someone like that, you can turn that pad down and it won't distort out the microphone. There's also another pad here for minus 20. So if you're in an even louder situation, that's when you'll use that one there, right? Let's just appreciate the, the, the sound of this microphone. It sounds so good, right? You listen to it right now, of course. Um, then there's another switch on the other side, which is called the roll-off switch. And what that's going to do is going to roll off the low end. There's two sections to this. So you've got a flat, you've got a, a, a harder roll-off, and then a kind of a softer roll-off on there. And on the very back of the microphone here, we can see there's a switch to switch up the pickup patterns. Now, I think we have three pickup patterns with this microphone. We have the cardioid, cardioid, <laughs> cardioid. Um, so basically, we have three patterns that one focuses on my voice coming this way like so. We have a figure of eight, so it's kind of like a, a circular here, a circular there, and then you shouldn't really pick up sounds from the sides. That works well if, say, I'm having a conversation with someone using this microphone or we're singing face to face, which would be quite fun. And then there's kind of an, an omnidirectional one where it just does a complete 360, so no matter where I go on the microphone, it should pick up my voice. So those are the three main switches on this microphone. Um, and I just wanted to basically show you, this is the, the mic of choice that I'm going for at the moment. And I have chose so many different mics. A list of those mics will be on the screen somewhere. Let, let's put it over here. A list of the mics that I've tested against this microphone, and this is the microphone that's came out on top. So let's do a little demonstration of the mic. So I'm talking to you guys right now. I'm just gonna flick the roll off switch. I'm gonna flick to uh, the least aggressive one first, so there might be a little flick, so I'm gonna bring the volume down a second. 
Okay, so now you would have noticed it's taken out a little bit of that rumble from my voice. And the great thing about this is it means I can start to utilize the proximity of this microphone. I can get a lot closer and hopefully it shouldn't boom it out or get too rumbly as I'm getting closer to the microphone. Let me just put it back to normal and do that same situation again. So now we're back onto a kind of a flat response here or a a neutral response and I'm just going to get closer to the microphone and you'll probably notice my voice sounds a little bit more boomy a little bit more bassy than it did sound previously and then there's one more switch where it's kind of a, a gradual one and I use this one the most when I'm doing voiceover so let's switch to that one and now for me this one is kind of a, a meet you in the middle kind of thing so it takes out a lot of that rumble down in the voice but it means I can move back like this and talk I can move forwards and I should still have a nice clean like very stable level voice when it comes to the, the, the rumbling proximity effect, if that makes sense. Let's put this back to how it was before. Cool, so that's that. Um, in terms of plosives on this microphone, that's that. It doesn't really matter much to me because at the end of the day, I'll be using all sorts of filtrations in front. And majority of the time, I'm talking like this. I'm talking at that angle from the microphone rather than directly onto it just to get a bit of that air out of the way because I am a really breathy uh, person when I speak. Um, so let's just test out how much sound it picks up. So if I was accidentally to hit the microphone stand here, let's have a listen to that. So that's a stand, um, their own shock mount. Sounds crazy. Um, and then the microphone itself. I mean, that's just some sounds of its own its own doing. It's a very sensitive microphone. I will say that right now, it picks up a lot of sound from outside. I'm hearing buses and everything go past and it's picking up those sounds there. Um, but it's okay, I can deal with it because the, there is a nice low noise on this microphone. So when I'm saying low noise, when the microphone's just sat there by itself, it's not generating its own static and sound, which some of my other microphones do. This one's very quite low in that aspect. So um, yeah. Pretty nice. Let's check out exactly how it sounds as I'm going around to see how much noise behind it deadens off. Now I've got a big old light here and it's a noisy light. The fan on this thing is pretty loud. So I'm hoping you guys can't really hear that in this video. Maybe you can, but um, yeah, that's the whole point of having a microphone like this. It should focus here in the front and try to get rid of that sound at the back. So I'm just gonna go around the microphone to demonstrate that to you. It might look a bit weird, but I'm just gonna go around the microphone so you can see uh, how much it rejects as I go around it. So I'm just gonna keep talking. So this is me talking from the side of the microphone, and now you're gonna see the back of my head as I'm going around to the back of the microphone, back to the side of the microphone, and coming back around to the front of the microphone. Now, I don't think there's any point in me really flicking through the other um, pickup patterns. I mean, I can, but it, it's just gonna be the sound of me in 360. Let's do that. You might enjoy it. Let's go. So let's go. For, this is Omni. So this should be picking me up as I go around. And now this is handy if you've got someone say, if I'm talking to a screen here, uh, blah, 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 blah. And then suddenly I'm looking over there and I'm moving around. And I'm moving here and I'm moving there. Hopefully my voice should still sound pretty nice, even though I'm moving out of the spectrum or the pickup of the microphone so as i move around to the side here you should still be able to hear me quite well as i go around to the back you should also be able to hear me quite well and yeah it's a kind of a, a handy one to have if you want to pick up everything but that's the problem right it will pick up everything so it's going to pick up the sound of this fan even more so now and the sound of the bus and everything like that <laughs> so then we can move on to the figure of eight which will be the opposite switch i think Right, so now we're in the figure of eight. So that should be picking me up from the front and from the back. And from the sides, it should try to minimalize the sound as much as it can, right? So let's have a look there. So I'm talking from the sides here. It should be minimalizing it as much as possible, but then you should be able to hear me again as I get round to the back. To the sides, you shouldn't hear me as much, but then when I get round to the front, you should be able to hear me just as far, just as clear. Right, let's go back to our normal pattern. All right, so that's just my quick overview of this microphone. This microphone, I haven't even told you the model yet. It's the SE2300. It's one of um, SE Electronics newer models. The one I was using previously, if you're interested in that, was the Z3300A. It's a big, 
chunky microphone. This one's quite petite actually in its size, not quite as petite as the, the CAD microphone that I use often, um, but it's still a nice petite size. Let me try and get my old microphone for you, hold on. Okay, so this is the previous microphone that I had before. You can see there's quite a bit of a size difference between these. This one's a real big chunky microphone in comparison. Uh, but this thing used to sound so, so nice. And this is the microphone that sounds the closest to how this microphone sounds for me, um, with a close second being the CAD. So any kind of voiceovers you hear on this channel from now on will be on this microphone until a new challenger comes along and beats it off its throne. <laughs> so if you're looking for a microphone and you feel like you have a similar voice to me and you feel like, Ugh, I don't wanna spend my money on this and waste it because that's happened to me so many times. I've spent my money on things, I listen back and it just don't sound good on my voice, but it sound great on someone else's voice online. Um, so if you feel like you have a similar voice to mine and you're looking for a microphone that's gonna give you kind of a, a nice rich tone or you like the sound of this tone here, then check out the SE Electronics SE2300. Now, if you want to hear how this thing sounds with a little bit of compression on it, here's a little bit of compression, just a little bit of standardized compression there. Right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a different one, but I'm just trying to go through all the gear. I get it. Some of you guys might not be into audio. Some of you guys might be into audio. I'm trying to cater to the whole spectrum here. This whole channel is meant to be about photography. It's meant to be about the outdoors and creating videos and photography outdoors, as well as coming back creating music to those videos, recording voiceovers to those videos. So it needs to have all three aspects in, you know, photography, video, and audio. It needs to have those three to, to create that one chugging train down the tracks. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you feel like someone else might enjoy the video, they, they may be looking for a microphone right now, send it to them as well. All right, I'll catch you in whichever video happens to come next. Peace.